Again, we can do this experiment at various temperatures and report the various isotherms into the PV diagram. Remember that volume tends to be larger for higher temperatures. So if the bottle was kept at 150 degrees Celsius, for example, the water will boil at a saturated pressure of 4.8 bar. So that's what we can report in the diagram. And the volume of both saturated liquid and vapor will be expected to be, again, different. We will learn how to find those values later in thermodynamic tables. So, in the same manner, a number of isothermal lines could be produced, all identifying different saturated temperatures, as reported here, and saturated volumes. If we join all the saturated liquid and vapor points, we end up with a skewed bell curve on now what is a PV diagram. This is another way to represent the phase diagram. Note that at a very high pressure and temperature, we obtain again a peak indicating the critical point of water.